time! <laughs> well, Santa can't help you out on this one, but the Avengers Joe has volunteered to ring, read to you the night before Christmas. <laughs> so, we're going to turn things over to him and let you handle and enjoy the story from there. <coughs> Sorry about that, boys and girls. Santa's got a bit of a cold. <laughs> But don't worry, I'm on my way out to serve to make sure you all get your presents for this Christmas. <laughs> so until I see you all later, have a Merry Christmas and a Happier New Year. <laughs> okay, yeah, no problem, Santa. I can I can do that. No problem. Thank you so much, Adventurous Joe. <laughs> yep, you're welcome. Okay, what are we doing? Ooh, the night before Christmas. Okay, well, we'll have to get this little story started right in a moment. The night before Christmas. "'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her, and Ma in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday mm, mm, to objects below. Mm. When what to my wondering eyes mm, should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, mm, his mm, his coursers they came, mm, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Ho, 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 ho. Not my best impersonation of Santa, but it'll have to do. As dry leaves that mm, before mm, the wild hurricane fly, mm, when they came, mm, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up in, mm, to the housetop, the cursors mm, they flew mm, with the sleigh full of toys and Saint Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, mm, I heard mm, on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was mm, mm, turning around, down the chimney mm, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and mm, his clothes were all mm, tarnished with ashes and soot. The, mm, a bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they mm, twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were, were like roses, his nose like a cherry, his droll mm, little mouth 
was mm, drawn up like a bow, and mm, the beard of his, on his chin was as white as the snow. He stumped mm, the stump of mm, a pipe. He held and tightened his teeth, and the smoke. Mm, and it encircled his head like a reef. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was a, he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a, giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like a down of a thistle. And I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <laughs> and that, boys and girls, is the end of our story. Merry Christmas from all of us at the Adventurous Joe Show.